there were two ladies. You don't think that Jesus knows what he's doing? Martha was all over the place. There is nothing wrong with cooking. A woman that does not cook does not understand life. Even we men, we cook. How much more our mothers? But there were two women. One was all over the place. Martha, come and help me in the kitchen now. How many people you want to cook for? Pata pata Jesus and a couple of disciples. Right. Activity, activity. Activity, activity. Do, do more, do, do more. Another more, do more, do more. Which department? There's another department that needs more people, believers. Come on, come on. And then you say, I can do that too. Perhaps that will please God again. Perhaps. Um, um, no, 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 no. When it's time to rest, it's time to rest. When it's time to heal, it's time to heal. When it's time to cry, it's time to cry. Look, Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Go there. Go there. He says there are, there are times and what? Seasons. There are times and seasons. What is your season right now? The pastor may say, well, the church in a season of bouncing. When you are in a season of lying low. The, church, the, the pastor may say, the church is in a season of jumping. We are going to jump this hoop. We are going all over the place. This is the time to take over the city. This is the time to conquer. God may say, daughter, can I conquer your heart first? Don't get me wrong, go. I'm not saying pastors are bad. Is that what I'm saying? Okay. You must have a relationship with God to the point where if God is saying something different from what pastor is saying, you must know. I'm speaking to you, I know, by the Spirit of God. It's not flesh. The first position I occupied in the church that I joined in the United States of America, God told me the position before the pastor announced it. So I took the position. Do you understand that you have to live your life by the Spirit of God? You have to run your government. You have to run the government of your life by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost. Many of you argue too much with God. What, because what pastor and apostles and prophets and all the TBN and all the, the television, all the 25 TV stations you watch, what they are saying is different from what the Holy Ghost is saying. So there is a conflict. And then you have so many people that you want to clarify with. You call Lagbaja, you call Tamedun, you call this one, you call this one. All of their words are in conflict. What are you going to do? Who are you going to report to when you die? Oh yeah, read Ecclesiastes chapter 3. There's a time and season, if that's the place, is it? I think it's chapter 3. Please. To every person sitting in this place, there is a season, yes? And a time to every purpose under heaven. heaven. Yes, ma'am. There is a time to be born and there is a time to die. Yes, please keep going. Look, and there is a time to be born again. (laughs) There is a time to be born again. Look, listen to me. One day I was studying and the Lord said to me, Son, how can you be born again if you did not die? Mm. I was like, okay, talk to me, Lord. Mm. Many of you are not dead, but you are claiming to be born again. Mm. What needs to die is not dead yet. It's still gallivanting with you. And you're saying, I am born again. When did you die? 
Abi Nahibi is English. To be born again, with the word again, it means you were born and then you died and then you are born again. What died in you? What didn't die? Now, may tell me. The same life you used to live while you were a sinner is not dead yet. He's still living with you while you are a believer. You claim to be a saint, but you are not a transformed person. Yes, keep going. A time to kill and a time to heal. What did you kill? Have you killed anything? Is there anything in your past? Jesus said, every tree that my father did not plant shall be rooted out. It means shall be killed. Which plant have you killed in your own life? Have you killed any plant? Is every plant in your life good? Is every seed that was sown since you were born, have they been bearing good fruit? What did you kill? When you became born again, what did you sit down and say, well, this must go. Put them, toss this out, toss that out, toss this out, toss that out. No, you carried over everything like we carry over in school. We just carry it over. Carry it over. Jesus understands. He knows that we are human beings. Abby, he, nobody is perfect. He knows us. He understands. No, on judgment day, you will see fire in his eyes. You will see fire. Yes, ma'am. A time to break down. What? A time to build up. Look. 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 Scripture is accurate. You have to even break relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Separation. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. wow. You have to even, you have to break relationships. The reason most of us don't obey God is because we are afraid that God will not keep his promise. He will not keep his own part of the deal. Well, we are not sure. God said do this. But hmm, the person we do it before, he suffered well, well. Oh. So what I go do now? We can just obey small. Yes? A time to weep and a time to laugh. Just because you are a believer, you are a child of God, does not mean that there will not be seasons where you have to go on your knees and just weep and just weep and just weep and just weep. Say, so what, what, what are you weeping for? I, I don't know. My spirit is just heavy. I was in Ayo's house and one day Ayo called me. Uncle Emma Binu, why do you cry in the night? I, I see you, you kneel down before God, but you cry. I said, when, when prayer and words cannot express the things that I want to express, my spirit what? Groans. My spirit just weeps before God. And he comes in. And comforts me. Mm. Son, it will be okay. He knows exactly what I am going through. Yes, ma'am. A time to cast away stones hmm. and a time to gather stones together. Hmm. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. It, it, look, wow. there's a time to say, stand back. <laughs> I want to assess my life. <laughs> Please give me a breathing space. I need, to, uh, I need to reassess my life. I need to assess and reassess. I need to, the Bible says, examine your life so that you find out if you are really living a life of faith. This is what we are dealing with. Many believers are broken. They sleep, they see themselves at meetings. They know the people, but when they wake up, they will say, who are those people? They eat with them, they drive out with them, they go in the same car, they see themselves in buses, and the bus is driving them to a police. They wake up, 
they are not sure what is going on, but they keep quiet. quiet. If you try to explain what you are going through to another believer, they may mock you. They may say, um, well, maybe, or maybe you don't believe enough. It's time to repent. It's time to cry out to God. It's time to ask the question, what season am I in? What season? What is the demand you are placing on me at this time of my life? You see, they lied to us. I, I always say that. Preachers lied to us. The, all the preachers who raised us up, I, I, th- thank God for their lies, but they lied. They never told us that God has expectations that it's not just one-sided. Come and receive. Take what? Take the house. Take the car. Ask for the car. Ask for this. Ask for that. Ask for your husband, though. Ask for seven children. Oh, you don't want seven children? Ask for two. Two girls and two boys. May, just be accurate. Be, write it down. Everything you want from God. Give him the list. No, they didn't tell you that God demands things from you, too. They didn't tell you that just as you have expectations of God and you can say, God cannot lie. Your word will not come back to you void. And you know how we pray. Your word will not come back to you void. And you stamp your feet for God. And you are holding God accountable for his word. What about God? Can he hold you accountable for your promises? The day you gave your life to Christ, are you faithful? Have you been faithful since that day? Did you commit any sin after the day you gave your life to Jesus Christ. Are you faithful? The devil is a liar. You are a child of God. Go to God and then we go. We say, you God, you called me and then we stamp our feet. Angels will be laughing. Say, what's wrong with these people? What's wrong with them? The one who died for you, you have not even asked him, what, 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 what should I do now with my life? You think Jesus bought you at a price. Abi, he bought us at a price, right? Yes. Right? Yes, sir. So, you buy a property and then you leave the property and say, the property can do whatever it wants. Is that how you behave? No, no we demand the best from the property. the property. The person will buy you. You never take the time. Mm. Ask him, what did you buy me for? Mm. What did make I do with my life now? No, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a surgeon. And my children, <laughs> my children must be, does that, we will now organize. We will now put it on the table. Put the blood of Jesus on it. Blood of Jesus. It must happen. The God who bought you at a price, you have not even asked him, what's on your mind? <laughs> Is there any priorities? Anything that is that is heavy on your heart, Lord? No. We've not been taught. We are hardly taught to know the mind of God. Hmm. Mm. He just gave me a scripture. Second, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. And I'll close. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. Opening. It's there. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived. Look, what God wants to do with you, there is no pastor on this planet that knows it. Except God intentionally shows it to him. But they will manipulate you as if they have every information on their desk. No, they want to use us to build their empire. Come on, help me. They want to use us to build your M. I know you are afraid. I am not. 
They want to use us to build their what? Empire. Empire. <laughs> Read now, it's there. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, no, I have seen. But as it is written, I have I said scripture, I didn't say Facebook. Okay, here now. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard. Go to verse 7. Verse 7. Mm-hmm. Speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Okay, jump to it. Which none of the princes of this world knew. There is nobody who knows it. Mm. The secret, the key to your destiny is not in the hand of any man. But what? But as it is written. But it is documented. I have not seen. There is no eye that has seen it. Nor ear heard. No ear has heard it. Neither have entered into the heart of man. It has not crossed their mind. The things which God has prepared for them that love. What God has prepared for you. If you love God. If you love God. You will enter into that thing. But you cannot manipulate your way into it. And I I just want, one woman came to our ministry. I saw the way she was acting. So I asked her, I said, what do you want? She said, I I just want, this is an American. I just want uh, Oyedepo. I said, which one? She said, the same Oyedepo. I said, okay. I just want Oyedepo to lay hands on me so that all his anointing will come upon me. I was like, are you out of your mind? (laughs) Is that how it works? Mm. Mm. That's what they are taught. That's why they always want a position in church. Mm. That's why they always want to be near the pastor and the Mm. Mother, mama. daddy, mama. our daddy, our mama. In Nalayo, they are looking for anointing. Mm. Anointing that they can never receive. Mm. Sure. Even daddy and mommy gone, they are colorful, they are already empty. <laughs> they don't chop finish, they don't chop belly food. No anointing again, no fire. It's old glory. I am telling you the truth. Many of them are living on old glory. There's nothing in it any longer. It's you followers that are blind. You follow, you follow, you just follow, you just follow, you just... I'm not saying that God does not have a structure. I'm not saying that God does not have a situation where he has raised up a man or a woman and many people gravitate towards him or her. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying where there is a blindfold, where there is a foolishness, where there is a dullness of mind, and Christians and believers cannot figure things out. They cannot discern. They can't understand the will of God for their lives. Seasons. No eye has seen. Who? How do we know what God has for us? But God has revealed them all. By who? By who? His spirits. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. The deep things of God. What's on God's heart? Deep, deep, deep inside of God. For your life, the Holy Spirit will seek it out. And then bring it. Can you imagine? He brings it, but you are not at rest. You are not at peace to receive. You are not fellowshipping with him. You are just all over the place. All over the place. All over the place. You can't even hear God. When he tells you, you take it to five different, six, seven different believers for clarification. And they chop it up, chop it up and kill it. A man of God had to warn me. He said, why do you tell everybody what God is doing with you? I said, no, I don't tell everybody. I just tell ministers of God. He said, ha He said, that's why you have problems. I said, what? He said, look at your life now. Look. Look at the pattern. Look at the, the moment you tell them what God is doing or what's going on with you. It becomes complicated. Mm. 
seasons. There's a season to even relate. There's a season to say, I beg, I just want, I just want to stay with Jesus. Thank you. Go and find out what your season is, sister. Don't, don't, even, don't even go after any prophecy. He prophesied to me. All the prophecies where you don't receive, how many of them don't come to pass? How many of them? Forget about prophecies for right now. Go and spend time with God in fasting. And, what are you fasting and praying for? I don't even know. I just, I just want... I just want to just, just get with God. Let him begin to sharpen your ears. Clean out all the waxes. Remove all the veil. Remove the dullness in your heart so that your spirit can be sharpened. Tell him to remove the dullness in your heart dullness that has come to cover you. And I'm going to say this and pray. It's not everybody in the church that will go to heaven. Okay? Okay. I'm sure you know that. And it's not everybody who says, who is a part of the body of Christ that will go to heaven. Only the bride of Christ will go to heaven. I'm going to say it again, ma'am. Only the bride of Christ. Okay. Hmm. Have you been to a wedding before? Yes, sir. When the groom came, how many people did he take with him? Only the bride. Only the bride. Even if he has dated other people are amongst them, he's going to take the one that wore that white robe. Yeah. Uh-huh. Make sense? The one that wears that white robe on stand is the one going, you know. God is talking about too many sins. One or two sins are okay. Nalayo. It's not true. Everybody say sin free. I say sin free. Iniquity free. Curse free. Curse free. Darkness free. Darkness free. Stand to your feet. I gotta go.